Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be decorating for fall. This time of year is my favorite. I think it is just so inviting and cozy. I really love all the seasons, but there is something extra special about autumn. Taking out all of my decor from years past, but I'm also going to be sharing some new finds with you. And if I can find links for anything, I will of course leave it down below in the description box. But before we get started, if you are new here, please do consider subscribing down below. Starting off by just bringing all of my decorations upstairs. So I just brought these up from the basement. That way I could kind of go through them and figure out exactly what I'm going to be using. I had this pillow from last year. This one is from Target. And then I also had these throw pillow covers. These ones are just from Amazon. I believe they're a year old now, but they probably do still have them. I'll leave a link for them down below. They're really inexpensive, but they come in a bunch of colors. I also have my lanterns, my light up pumpkin, and just a faux white pumpkin as well be getting into all of these and seeing what goodies are hiding away but before we do that i did just want to share the new finds from this year so the first is this pumpkin pillow from target it was 20 dollars, and i am obsessed with it i think it is so adorable really cozy looking so inviting and just adds so much character to any space that you put it in I loved it so much that I actually bought two of them. It does come in two other colors as well, a really beautiful burnt orange and a sage green. If it is out of stock, just sign up for the restock on Target.com. They have been restocking it quite often. This little faux floral piece is also from Target. It was only $10. And then I also found these pumpkin pillows from Target. These ones I thought were a great deal. They were only $15 each. They have a really pretty neutral color and then just a nice embroidered pumpkin on the front. This one also came in orange as well, I believe. The other new pieces this year are these two trays. I actually found these ones at Home Goods. The smaller one was $6.99 and the larger one here was $9.99. I thought that they were just a really good price for two wicker trays like this. I love the whitewash effect and I thought that they would just blend in really well. And the other new items we have are actually not purchases. These are DIYs. So all of these DIYs are on my channel. So I did do two fall Dollar Tree DIYs this year and everything here can be seen there except that candle. But that one I think was a DIY from a few months ago, but I will leave links for all of these DIYs down below in the description box if you are curious how to create any of them or if you just want some inspiration for some fun fall crafts. I do like to incorporate elements from each season into my decor, so I do actually have some leftover summer pieces that we will be taking out first. So all of this greenery, anything with a bright colored flower, all of that has to go. So I'm just going to be removing everything from my coffee table here. These candles I do have out pretty much all the time. I wasn't too sure about them. I was going back and forth whether I want to keep them out or not. So the first thing I'm doing is just cleaning my table with my favorite spray. This one is the acorn scent. I know a lot of people love the apple cider, but acorn is my favorite. And I'm just going to get started by decorating my coffee table first with that large tray from Home Goods. I actually want to incorporate this picture here and I will be removing all of this greenery. This is just way too summery. But I thought that this picture could look really nice as a centerpiece on the coffee table. So I'm just adding that in first. And then in this top basket here, I knew I had these faux florals from last year. These ones were from Target and I figured that they would work really well in the picture. I also had this set here of these small fall signs. This one is from Target from last year. I actually bought it pretty late in the season and then never got around to using it. So I thought maybe we could incorporate some of those into the decor today. After adding the faux florals, I decided to add this pumpkin to the tray. I love the organic look of this one. It's from Home Goods, but it is several years old now. And then I decided to open up that pack of signs and play around with a few of them. This one here was probably my favorite. It's really simple. I like the white lettering a lot, the way the fonts are. But I did really like this sign too. It has a really sweet saying on it. Every year I fall for pumpkins, bonfires, s'mores, autumn leaves, and you. But it did end up just looking a little bit too busy in the tray. 
So I did go back to that first sign. I also really liked this one here where it says fall, sweet fall on that faux book stack, but it ended up kind of being covered up by the tray, so I figured we could find somewhere better for that one. I'm going to be adding in this wood bead garland, and this was actually a DIY on my channel as well, so if you want to see how to create that wood bead garland, I will leave the video linked down below in the description box. I'm pretty happy with the overall look of it, but I did end up adding a candle later on. So now I just want to go ahead and go through some of these boxes to see what is in here and what I actually want to use this year. I know I'm not going to be using everything, so I just want to pick out my favorite pieces. I love this pumpkin here. It holds tea light candles, but I just really didn't have the room for it this year, so sadly that one will be going back in the box. I do want to take out all of my faux florals. The orange colored ones are from Hobby Lobby and the faux wheat ones are from Target from last year. I also have these amber glasses that I picked up last year. These were so trendy last year. I feel like everyone had them, but they really are beautiful. The small amber glass was from Hobby Lobby, and then this large one here is from Target from last year. I believe it was their Studio McGee collection. This was actually my centerpiece on my coffee table last year, so I definitely want to use it, but maybe do something different with it. And then this small amber glass is also from Hobby Lobby. In here are also my fall mugs. This was probably my favorite one, and I also had this small tea light candle holder from H&M. I was super happy to find this brand new candle that I had put away from last year. I never got a chance to use it. I buy extra of this scent. This is my favorite one ever, Heritage Pumpkin from Target. It just smells like fall and Halloween to me. I absolutely adore it. This pumpkin is cast iron, and this is probably the best look for less I have found for those very pricey pumpkin cooking dishes. This one is from Walmart. I believe it is the Pioneer Woman collection. Very inexpensive and beautiful quality. I'm going to be keeping my eye out for that one and I will leave a link down below if they do restock it. Some of these items here are a year or two old. This faux floral set is actually from last year, I believe, from Target. It's not my favorite, if I'm being honest. It just really does not look realistic at all, but it was only $5 and it does add a pop of color if I really need it. So it's on the maybe pile for this year. These woodland characters are several years old from Michaels and I do love them. This fall banner is one of my favorite DIYs from last year. It was so simple, but it just turned out really cute. These pumpkins were probably my favorite purchase from last year. They're from Hobby Lobby and these spoons are as well. And I do believe they have both of those again this year. My coffee table has this little nook in the front where you can add decorations. And this is actually where I put these pumpkins last year. I do like to switch things up, but I just ended up loving the look of these pumpkins so much that I just had to recreate it. I did play around with some different options, but I did actually just decide to add the candles back in because I thought that they worked best with these colors. Next, I wanted to take care of one of the bigger items, the throw pillows. So I will be changing out pretty much all of the pillows on my couch, but I will be keeping this one. This one is from Target from a few years ago. I like the texture on it. I think it works well for fall. And I'm going to be adding in the pumpkin pillow from Target. Switched out the pillow cover on one of my other throw pillows for these velvet ones from Amazon. And then finally, I'm going to be adding in these pumpkins in the front. One of my favorite things to do is just add a throw blanket to the corner of the couch. It just makes it look super lived in and very inviting. And I did end up mirroring that same look on the other side of my couch. So this corner here, I never really know what to do with if I'm being honest, but I decided to take all the faux greenery out and I did have this little tray. I was kind of thinking about using it, but I did end up kind of taking it away. I felt like it wasn't needed. I was going to add in this sign. This is a double sign from Target from last year but it just really wasn't working out. So I did end up swapping it out for this sign here. This sign, the happy fall one, does actually light up as well, which looks really cute in the corner at nighttime. It just kind of lights up this darker corner and looks super cozy. And I do like to hide my speaker behind it. And I do have this pumpkin as well, which lights up. So between the sign lighting up and the pumpkin, it just looks really nice at nighttime. 
I did think about putting the faux florals here with this pumpkin, but I just was not loving the look of those bright flowers. So I decided to just add a woodland character and a pumpkin here, but I did actually end up switching it out at the end for something a little bit different. So at this point, this is what we have left to work with. I do have a large console table that I do want to decorate in the living room, and I do want to add a few decorative elements to my kitchen as well. So I started off by putting this large vase from Target in the center, then I added the faux florals from Hobby Lobby, and I did like the look of it, but not in the center, so what I did was actually remove one of the lamps and just push it all the way to the right. Then I added in one of those amber vases with the faux wheat pick in it and then added a pumpkin and a little acorn. And then I tried to kind of complement the other side by mirroring the look a little bit. So I added my second amber vase and then also another pumpkin and acorn. And for the center here, I added in my ombre leaves DIY. Again, that video will be linked down below in the description box if you want to see how to create that. This console table does have four areas that you can decorate, but I do want to keep it pretty minimal because it tends to look overcrowded pretty quickly. So all I'm doing is just adding a woodland character to each. I'm keeping some of the books and then just adding some of my Dollar Tree DIYs from this year. I did end up adding these two white owls and then on the other side I added my little white fox. I did end up adding my fall banner. This is where I had the fall banner last year, but I'm not sure if it's too much with the words fall up top and then also in the banner. Let me know what you guys think down below. Is it too much and which one should I remove if you think I should make it look a little bit more simple. I'm not going to be doing too much to the cubbies down below. I do want to keep my board games here so I'm just switching out the candle for the white pumpkin. And then on the other side I have my record player which will be staying so I just added some pumpkins up top just to help it blend in a little bit more. And this is pretty much the final look for this area. Next, we're going to be moving on to the kitchen. I'm starting off by just adding the smaller tray from Home Goods to the center of my kitchen table. I knew I wanted to create a really festive harvest centerpiece, and I wanted to add the faux florals from Target first. Next, I decided to add in this dish towel that I had. I liked the color and I thought that the texture would help to kind of brighten everything up a little bit. She had an idea and it ended up working out. So I took the faux book stack from that sign set from Target and I put that in the tray and then added the faux florals on top and it gave it a little bit of height and you can still read the words on the book. I actually have this mini little picture. This one is from Amazon. I purchased this for a Halloween DIY, but it really ended up working well here. So until I end up using it for my Halloween DIY, I'm going to be keeping it right here in my centerpiece. And then I did end up taking this pumpkin. This one was actually in the living room in that corner piece. So I'm going to have to replace it with something else, but I thought that it worked better here in this basket. For the final piece, I just took two of these spoons from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to be putting them in the back. They're actually a little hard to see, but when you're sitting at the table, you can kind of see them and they just look really cute sitting there together. It's the last area that we are going to be decorating, it is my coffee bar and I love my morning coffee. It's one of my favorite parts of the day, so I do really enjoy making the coffee bar really seasonal. For the summertime, we kept it super simple, so we're going to be taking all of that out now. We will, of course, be keeping the Keurig, and I do want to keep this mini lamp from Target because it is really cute and cozy at nighttime when you turn it on. And the first thing I'm going to be doing is adding this little tray from Target. This is from the Target Dollar Spot, and then some of my favorite fall mugs. All of these mugs that you see here are from Target from last year. I'm going to be adding in this Hello Autumn sign. This is the DIY one from this year. And it is kind of hard to see here from this angle, but when you're standing up and walking to the coffee bar, you can definitely see it a little bit better. Then I added in another Dollar Tree DIY, that little pumpkin pie sign. And then these faux leather leaves are a new find for me from Dollar Tree this year. They are so cool. They do look like leather and I just kind of sprinkled them throughout the house and it definitely added a really fun element. And now we are ready for the final reveal. 
So on this table here, I did end up adding my little tea light candle and that bonfire sign. So added in more of those faux leather leaves. And then here on the armchair, I just have my pumpkin pillow from Target from last year. And then on the couch, all of my new pumpkin pillows. This is definitely where I will be getting nice and cozy with my morning coffee every autumn morning. Over here in the coffee table, you can see where I added in that gold candle. I think it just helps to kind of give it a little pop of color and it does look really nice at nighttime when it's lit up. This is the other side of my coffee table where you can actually add in some other decor pieces or whatever you need. And I kept it really simple with some books and then more of those faux leather leaves. Here is the console table, which ended up pretty much staying exactly the way it was when I put the pieces together. The entryway bench I kept super simple with just some lanterns, pumpkins, and pillows. And then finally, the kitchen. I honestly cannot wait for those really crisp autumn mornings to just come here, make my cup of coffee, and just relax. I love to take in this season. It really is so special and magical in my opinion, and I want to cherish every bit of it because it always goes by too quickly. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed decorating for fall with me, and if you are new here, please do consider subscribing to my channel.